Twain once said, kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Have you ever been the recipient of a random act of kindness? You know how good it can make you feel if you have. I love that quote. Well, one woman is on a mission to spread that feeling and hopes it will have a ripple effect. Joining us now is Jamie Schultz. She's the creator of the Pajamas Notebook blog. And to celebrate turning 35 years old, she intends to commit 35 acts of random kindness in just as many days. Thanks for being yes. here, Jamie. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to share um, all the goodness here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Yeah, Your you. birthday is November 18th. Same day as Tiff. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Happy uh -huh. early birthday to yes. you. Thank yeah. you. You too. You too. So yeah. you're, you're, you're doing 35 random acts of kindness. And Correct. this is all leading up to your birthday? Correct. Well, what I'm doing is leading up to my birthday. Every day I'm focusing on a different organization or something that I want to do to give back. So it's leading up to planning the actual day of uh, my birthday. And that whole day is going to be spent actually executing all of these events. Leading up to it though too, you know, I'm doing things like donations and stuff like that, but I'm saving the real big stuff for the actual birthday day. So Okay, so most of the stuff you're doing on the 18th. Correct. What kinds of things have you done leading up so far? The planning process mm -hmm. leading up to it so far. Um, what I've done is it's, it's really been a process of figuring out how to give back and who to give back to. Because mm -hmm. it can be overwhelming. There's a lot of yeah. options out there. And There's that. a lot of need. There's a lot of need. And mm -hmm. the more you uh, want to give back, the more need is coming to you. And you want to do it all. But obviously, you can't. You can't do it all. Unfortunately, you just can't do it all. So what I've been doing is just really finding those things that are really close to my heart, to the things and topics that I'm very passionate about, and reaching out to different people in the community and different organizations and saying, how can I give back? This is mm -hmm. the, the day I really want to do something meaningful and positive for your organization or nonprofit, whatever the, the case might be. So, so specifically, what things are you planning to do as a way oh to give gosh. back? Lots of stuff. I'm starting off the day by donating blood. Um, I've done that once before in my life. I'm terrified, terrified of needles, but it's a simple thing that I can do mm -hmm. to give back. So to the save day, a life. To, mm -hmm. to save a life, exactly. And I got my sister to come along with me, and I'm making her do it with Little me too. Little support group. Yeah, That's yeah. good. So we're going to do, we're going to be donating blood. Um, I have thank you cards. I'm plan on taking to the veterans and handing out as a way of saying thanks. I made some fabulous, with the help of my nieces and nephews, craft kits for the children at Children's Hospital. Is that what you brought? Is yes. It? Oh, we, we just showed the, yes. the thank you so notes. So we have the um, kits and the thank you notes, and those will be uh, donated out there. I'm working with some other organizations with um, women and children that have suffered from the hand of domestic violence. So finding ways to get involved in their organization to give back. Because, again, these are all things that are very close to my heart that mm -hmm. really I matter that I really want to find a way to give back to. So there's a whole litany of stuff that's going to be taking place on that day to include things that are as simple as complimenting a stranger, holding the door open for somebody, just really getting involved in shedding that, I always say that kindness ripple. You know, you mm -hmm. do one thing and it just goes out and affects so many people. So yeah. there's just lots. <laughs> well, it is a lot, and that's what I was going to ask you. So, so Monday is the 18th. I Correct. know, you know, yeah. planning it out. But <laughs> on Monday, do you think by the end of the day you're going to feel rejuvenated, or do you oh. think you'll feel exhausted trying to do so much in one day? I know, without a doubt, it's going to be the most powerful rejuvenating day because just planning it and getting up to this day, I feel the most immense just uh, gratitude to be involved and be able to give back, and just, just it just feels so. Good. So sure, there's a lot of stuff to do, but I have the support of my family. They're going to be running around town with me too, and um, it's just so rewarding to feel how you can affect another person's life. Yeah, because that's a lot to accomplish yeah, in one is. day. So a lot of people are thinking, <laughs> how do you do 35 yeah. kind things? I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of people struggle to do one in a day, <laughs> right? Or one in a week. But right. how do you do 35 in a day? You have planning, you have planning, help. planning. So are you are you involved in each one? I'm of doing those? every single thing. I am planning on. For me, it'll probably take. I'm assuming maybe 10 hours. So it is going to be a very packed day. But the point, excuse me, yeah. the point is of the whole project, I don't like hair yeah. me, um, is that, you know, for me, this is what works for me. I want to spend my day doing all of these things in one, in one day. But what the message I try to get out there to anybody is you don't have to do 35 things in one day. You can do one thing in one day. So it's not a matter of how many things you're getting accomplished at any given time. It's just doing something that you can mm -hmm. get back. But yes, I, my actual birthday day will be all of them. And again, some of them are really 
simple things of, you know, putting positive messages on mirrors in restrooms and things cute. like that. So you can oh, stop and cute. say, oh, you know, little note says you are beautiful or something along those lines just to do these things. So a lot of this stuff isn't time consuming. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think people need to realize, too, is that you can find ways to give back and it's not going to eat up all of your time or your, you know, your bank book, you know. Well, yeah. I like that. And, and I think for people who are watching you saying, OK, it's great. She's doing this on her birthday. It's those little things that you're saying, like putting a little note on a right. mirror that that they can do. Right. You know, what are some of the other little things for someone who's watching saying, I want to do just another random act, you know, that's not, you know, because we've all heard mm -hmm. that, you know, purchase a coffee for the person behind sure. you or something like that. Sure. And sometimes, again, it comes down to the dollar and yeah, you just don't absolutely. have that extra dollar. So absolutely. if you don't, what other things that are free are you doing that other people can do for, for there, people? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. But, um, you know, a little thing, for example, of, you know, when's the last time you received a letter in the mail from mm -hmm. somebody and not a bill in the mail? So t t write a letter to somebody yeah. that you haven't talked to in a while or, you know, new age, you know, send some text messages to people you haven't talked to just saying that you're, you're thinking of them. It's sharing lunch with somebody, listening more intently when somebody speaks to you. You know, you can help a neighbor, and my goodness, there might be snow, you know, you can help a neighbor shovel their walk or shovel their driveway. That doesn't take any dollars. And like I was saying before, if complimenting a stranger, holding the door open for somebody, these are all things and all simple acts of kindness mm -hmm. that, um, should be second nature, but you know we get in our busy life and we forget sometimes. Yeah. So there's a ton to do, I and think you get just fantastic. as much reward back. These T-shirts you've made, so and those cute. are for you, ladies. Oh, oh we yeah, I've got those for each of you. Check out. Here's the heart, and it says, "Love more. It's good for you. It's good I for love you." That. And for people to find out how Great they message. can get involved, they can visit pajamasnotebook.com and to share stories or pictures of what you're doing mm -hmm. in the local community. You can also go to your Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash pajamas notebook. Right. I just wish you a, a really happy birthday. Thank you. And I think it's a Thank wonderful you. idea and a great example that you're setting for your kids. Thank too. you. Yeah. yeah, they realize they they're watching and hearing, so it is. It's you know, it's touching everybody. So it's cool. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Great to Thanks see you. Again. Thank you. It's great seeing you guys Appreciate too. Thanks for having it. me. For sure.